What's up, everybody? Today I'm here with another Walking Dead topic, like always. Um, and this topic is about the Walking Dead season two deleted scene. And this scene will appear on the um, Walking Dead season two Blu-ray coming out August 28th. And I want to talk about this scene because this scene was definitely a cliffhanger, if not a cliffhanger, but it kind of left a plot hole in season two, if you get what I'm saying, because. We all see Walking Dead season one, and we seen where Rick was in Atlanta, and we seen where he met the Vatos. I, I, I'm assuming um, Vato was a, me a Mexican family or a Mexican race overall. And we all, I mean, I mean, it, it, I'm sorry, and we also know that they had a nursing home taking care of the sick and stuff. And we also know that they didn't have, they had very little um, ammunition. And we seen where Rick gave them am ammunition and love. But this right here kind of had a lot of people speculating what happened What happened to the Vatos. Because in season two, we didn't hear from Morgan and Dwayne, but we heard when Rick was on the radio and he was telling Morgan and Dwayne, well, 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 okay, well, well, where, where he was, well, well, where he in the group was heading at. He was telling Morgan and Dwayne on the radio, but I ain't no telling, I ain't no telling Morgan and Dwayne, but I do have a video topic coming for that. And I also have a video topic Coming from a, well, coming from, well, coming from another user about Rick's hand getting chopped off. So we're looking out for those two videos coming too. But this right here was kind of a plot hole for season two because we never heard about the Vatos again, and that right there kind of left us on the cliffhanger wondering what happened to him. But now this clip right here kind of reveals, or this clip does reveal what happened to the Vatos. And, and what I mean by this clip is, uh, well, well, the original director or the original producer who who did this clip got fired. See, I can't remember his name, but I will put his name as an annotation in this video so you can know who I'm talking about. And he got replaced. So I guess when they fired him, they uh just removed his scenes that he read that he recorded. And to me, this scene would have this scene would have made the, the start well the plot of the story completely changed for season two because this this scene right here is, is a subplot if you get what I'm saying a sub a subplot so I definitely say this scene would have changed everything and definitely would have put us like on a cliffhanger because when because because when we see the scene. We see Rick, Daryl, Glenn, we see Andrea, we see Laura, we see Carl in um the Vatos, um in the Vatos nursing home. But then we look and we and we wonder like where is the Vatos? And the funny thing is we see one of their or we see somebody dead with a shot in their head. And now we see Andrea talking about walkers came in there and uh walkers came in there and flooded the whole place and just took it out. But it's revealed by Daryl, which is kind of shocking because Daryl was the only person to realize it. He found out that these people got killed execution style. And the first thing came to my head when I seen that when I seen that dead corpse from that ground and I seen execution style, the first thing I was thinking was Randall and his group. But no, that completely slipped my mind because listen to what I'm about to say. If that was a Randall group, they would have stayed there because Randall Group was um they they, they was looking for shelter, so I'm I'm pretty sure Rick then would have ran into Randall Group in 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 the Vato's nursing home. So second thing came to my head, it had to be the governor. That's the first. That's the second thing that came to my head. And if I'm right, even though this scene doesn't really count because it was well, this this scene doesn't really count because. It, it, you know, it, it was not it added to the original footage. It was like a, you know a delete a deleted scene, but I definitely see the governor and his group have something to do with this because as we all know, the people in the governor group is very in terms of shooting. Well, some of them, not all, in terms of shooting, are very good at shooting. Now I'm not saying that you had to shoot somebody from long range. You, you, well, you have to shoot somebody from a long range area to get a good headshot. You could easily. Put a gun to their head and kill them and get a good headshot. They call it execution style. But I definitely see governor having something to do with this. And the reason why I'm saying it because the governor, we all know the governor um runs he he runs Woodbury. He wants he runs the town Woodbury, and he got a town to himself. So why would he want to take over the Vatos nursing home? That would be 
it would be stupid of him, even though he did try to take over the prison, which was stupid because I feel like he, I feel like that he feels he's entitled to take over stuff since he's the governor. His his good doesn't mean it's good. It's like it's different ways of good. Just because he thinks something good, it could mess. It well, it could necessarily mean evil in other people's eyes. We all we as humans, we all have different beliefs in good in terms of evil. Which evil is evil and good is good. But I definitely see him having something to do with um, the Vatos. Or if not him, his men killing those people in the Vatos nursing home. It's just like that. And like, and like Daryl say, education style. We have Andrea trying to be sarcastic. trying to try, Basically trying to call Daryl dumb. But Daryl definitely proves her wrong by telling her to look in a dictionary and look up execution. <laughs> that was funny right there. But, um, yo, we all know about the Vatos. They was um, located in the Galanta City. But who do y'all think has him to do with that? That right there have nothing but governor on them. Nothing but governor. And in, in, in terms of why Rickton was there, they was like looking for um a refuge. They were looking, they were seeking refuge or, you know, a place to stay. But when they went back, there's nobody. But I feel like this scene should have been added in the season two so we can know what happened to the Vato so we wouldn't be wondering whatever happened to them. That, that, that's a good question because people were still wondering that, but I don't know why this scene should have been added and this would have covered up the plot hole in season two because people were still wondering this. And they should have added this scene so we can stop, we can stop asking, but now we finally know why. But it's bad. It's, it's a good thing we know about, but it's also a bad thing because it's a deleted scene. And you have to go pick the Blu-ray up or the regular DVD up of season two just to watch the scene or watch it on YouTube. But they should have added the scene. But I guess since the original person that did the scene and, and, and also because they fired him, they didn't use the footage. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I could be wrong. Y'all let, let me know. But this definitely would have made in general, would have would have made some common sense to us, and, and we would have got a backstory on what happened to him. And this definitely would have changed the subplot of the story. Also, it would definitely, like I said before, the story would have been changed due due to this scene because then we would have been wondering, or or this, or this could have been an early introduction to the governor. If you get what I'm saying, we could have had an early introduction to the governor in season two. We not now. Don't get me wrong. Now we probably wouldn't even knew his name, but we would have had hints or we would have been wondering who did this not and we would have been wondering who did this and this also could have led to a good introduction of in season three of so oh uh, well that's my thoughts on the scene um that's how i feel about it definitely subscribe rate comment check them other content if y'all like this video thank y'all so much uh thumbs up um remember uh, I can't even remember. I'm just, I'm just um just talking right now, out the mouth. But definitely check out my other content. I'm gonna go ahead and end it. My thoughts on the Vato scene. I uh, hope y'all enjoyed it. And, oh yeah, before I end this video, I also noticed that Carol questioned Rick's leadership again, like she always does. I don't know why, but Carol tends to question his leadership as a leader. And um, Sophia was alive, so. This scene was originally supposed to be in the first episode of The Walking Dead Season 2. And also, this scene takes place after the CBC lab blows up. And I also noticed that Rick Rickton was seeking refuge and they, and they run into the Vato's um, nursing home area. Because we all know Rick does remember that. Another thing, I, I, I also noticed that the guy that's dead that got killed executioner style hasn't turned yet. So, if this scene would originally, or the original, well, originally been in The Walking Dead season two, it's possible you would have seen this dude, this guy, turn because we all know that everybody is infected. The affection is in the air, and it have to be in the air for everybody to to, to be infected. So, I, so me personally, me personally, I highly, I highly say that we would have seen if if we would have kept this scene in the in the first um. In the first episode, in the first original episode, we definitely would have seen somebody transform like 
hands, like right hands on the front of our face without even getting bit. So, yeah, that's what I was going to say before this video. I had, I had to add this clip to this video because I forgot to say that. So, uh, yeah, peace.